Hello and welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. Now, it is Thanksgiving by the time this video gets published, so I want to say uh, Happy Thanksgiving and hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I was going to do a uh, video, a custom video for Thanksgiving, but I don't know what to do, so this might just be the video. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy this, hope you have a great Thanksgiving, stay with your family, and I'll see you in the game. Okay, as I said, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have a great day and all that type of stuff. But anyways, let's get into some Infinite Evolved Expert Mode. Okay, so uh, what I was wanting to do today is I want to get some Industrial Craft 2 machines fully going. I'm going to make quite a few of them. That way, in the future, we can easily get things going without having to continually make machines over and over again. So what I'm wanting to do is I'm going to want to make the electric furnace. I'm going to want the extractor. I'm going to want the compressor. Um, also, I want to make the, not the induction furnace. Uh, if I can find it here, um, possibly. <laughs> Might actually be up here. I'm not too sure. It's the uh, blast furnace. Yeah, that's the name of it. Uh, it's the blast furnace for the industrial two, industrial craft two. Yeah, right there. Uh, and basically, what this what this thing does is it makes refined iron, which we will be needing refined iron for the forge station. I'm pretty sure the tools forge, whatever it's called. And uh, yeah, and we'll also need the uh, solid or liquid one of those. I think it's a solid heat exchanger for it. That's, it basically makes it warm up. But anyways, let's get going on, yep, yeah, right there. Let's start making this stuff. I want to make the electric furnace because I want a easier route to uh, cook things up and not having to rely on coal. So we're going to want a electronic circuit, two redstone, and a iron furnace, which is that. So we're gonna need some iron, which I think we, ooh, hello. Here's still carrots. Why won't you mutate into melons? Come on, thing. All right, so we're going to want to uh, grab some iron here. We do have quite a bit of that, thank goodness. Uh, we're also going to want to grab some cobblestone to make ourselves. Uh, we're going to need a little bit more. Make ourselves a nice, lovely furnace. There we go. Throw the cobblestone back in. And let's go over here to form us. We're going to need six, I believe. Because we need one for this. Wait, no, I don't need six. I, I actually have one. Oh, oh, whatever. <laughs> I have one in here. I, I've had it. Also, I found a, a meteor and uh, took out the inscriber for it. Not too sure. Also, I'm working towards getting the uh, improved windmill, which is going to, one, upgrade our um, power situation quite a bit. Uh, to actually, with the power situation, the thing is with the windmills, to get them to produce more power, one, oh, hello, one is to uh, have it storm outside, that makes it go faster, and two, the higher it is, the more power it uh, achieves, but I don't want to, I don't want to have to take that up really, really high, so <laughs> I might make a few more and just have like a farm of windmills. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, let's uh, get things headed up. Uh, I'm still not too sure how I'm working with the <laughs> these chests here. I get confused easily. All right, so you are done. Thank you. Let's grab ourselves the iron furnace. There we go. We're gonna need the two redstone. We're gonna need th four redstone actually. I need to go mining some more. Uh, we're gonna need some more rubber which I don't where is the we have three here is there any uncooked rubber does not look like it that's also one reason why I need the extractor that way I can actually how do we make the extractor can I make that before the other no I um I could <laughs> I could I could okay um 
we're gonna need seven more and we're also gonna need a chipset for that let's let's make the extractor that way I can get the rubber better uh, we're gonna need quite a bit of wood here and I do mean quite a bit of wood <laughs> um, all right there we go we're gonna need four of these which we're gonna need a little bit more wood that should definitely be enough there we go there's four of that and what else did you need all right we're making that and then we need the rubber all right let's go chop down some of our trees over here there we go I'll cook up this and then once I get the extractor I'll be able to extract it from the rubber trees which should give me I think it's three per log which is really really great so we won't have to worry about rubber and we won't have to cook it up either so that's a bonus let's um let's plant these back there we go let's go cook these up all right um whatever <laughs> I'll just leave that in there for now sure all right there we go and let's go grab the rest of the iron plates that I need and make the machine frame or whatever <laughs> whatever it's called all right so that's gonna go not quite yet we're gonna need the oh we need one more all right let's go make one more actually we're gonna need a few more there we go hope I'm not running out of power <laughs> that would be bad scuffled all right this is a little bit longer than I want all right um you know what I was trying to save that power but whatever I'll make these and then I'll have these roll out do 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 but yeah hope you guys enjoy uh, Thanksgiving um I know mine's gonna be kind of uh, with some friends and stuff but if you aren't going to be enjoying Thanksgiving I'm sorry um, <laughs> um, if you're lonely I'm, I'm sorry there's nothing really I can do uh, in the future though what I plan on doing is uh, maybe live streaming or something during some of the event and uh, also maybe doing some giveaways hopefully whenever I get some money and being able to get some sponsors and stuff that would be nice I don't know we'll see we'll see how the things go in the future all right, there we go. There's that. Put that there. And voila. We have the extractor. Okay, let's go put this down. Also, we're going to need... What was that? <laughs> I just heard like a bird crow or something. That was weird. All right, let's put you there and you there all right so I think I'll do the extractor here all right there we go and we can throw that in there and it will extract it into some rubber and then we're also I'm also constantly trying to get the cinema <gasps> melon finally you took forever <laughs> uh, I'll grab that in a second all right let's grab the rest of the rubber here and let uh oh great not quite enough wait no actually no 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 don't don't need to do that anymore <laughs> what am I doing I don't know all right let's uh, grab it from here rubber Woo. all right there we go throw those in there okay so it only gives me one per thing oh yeah I think it's the resin that gives me more anyways let's yeah. <laughs> I'm so prepared I'm needing to use the cutter to get that. Alright, um, I'm going to probably get the resources and stuff for the rest of the machines, and then we will get going with other, get, getting those crafted, putting them down, and looking at what we can do after that. So I'll see you after a little bit.
Okie dokie. Alright, so I've got the uh, compressor done, the extractor, the middle former, the electric furnace, and the blast furnace done. Now, I'm going to teach you how to use the blast furnace to get your fined iron. Also, I am running low on power, as usual. Alright, so um, basically how the uh, blast furnace works is it takes iron and makes it into refined iron and also slag and all that other crap. But to make it work, one, you need either the liquid heat exchanger or the solid heat exchanger. Now, th I'll show you what it does, but uh, these, this is a recipe here if you uh, need to figure it out, which I'm getting closer to being done. But basically what it does is it takes heat from like charcoal, coal, whatever, and transfers it into the blast furnace heating up the thing itself. And you also have to put some air cells to actually have it run. Which, to make air cells, we need to first off make some cells themselves. That was, no, just, <laughs> that was a whoops. Alright, so we're going to need to make some empty cells, which, um, I wanted to, can you show me how to actually make it? Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> that's very helpful. Thanks. Um. Show me how to make cells. Why? Why are you doing this? Oh, okay. Never mind. I guess <laughs> this is how you make it. All right. So we need a uh, tin plate and extruding it into an empty cell. All right. That's done. Let's go grab some tin. I'll do three. That'll be nine. Yeah, that's good for now, at least. Alright, I uh, will let that go through and then we will make some plates. There we go. There's that. Let's make the solid heat exchanger. I'm doing it this way just because it doesn't require me making another iron chip set, which is nice. Alright, so I'll place it uh, right on top of this because it doesn't, it doesn't need power. It just needs some other stuff. Alright, let's figure out how I'm going to do this. Uh, I think I might actually have to pick this up, possibly, and uh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, um, okay. And then put it down. And then... That's not what I wanted. Yeah, as I thought, this is going to be a f issue. <laughs> um, okay. Hmm. How to get this <laughs> to work? <laughs> um... Okay, I'm not really sure on how I'm going to be able to make this work. Alright, maybe... Okay, so this is faced upwards. So maybe if I can somehow get that... Oh, I wish this was easier. <laughs> I need the electric one. Alright, and then somehow get it to... Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll go off that and see <laughs> if there's a way to get this placed right. Um, are you done? Yes, you are. Let's get that extruded, make the cells, and then we'll be right back whenever I figure out how to get this orientated. Okay, hey, I got it. <laughs> Took some very weird getting used to on that one. Alright, so what basically you need to do is grab some coal and to throw it into the solid heat ex generator, throw it in there, and that will start to heat this up some point in time. Whenever it decides to heat. Maybe. <laughs> okay.
Why are you not transferring heat now? It's on that side. Why aren't you working? <laughs> I don't understand. All right. Also, you have to throw the empty cells into the compressor, and that will get them to compress the air. Why are you not transferring any heat? Oh my goodness, this thing is <laughs> getting on my nerves. Uh. Let's throw some iron in there. Oh, there we go. Maybe it was working. Okay. Alright, so I guess I just had to get things in there to get it to work, actually. So... That is how you make the refined iron, which you need nine for, I need to get some more iron in there, but you need nine refined iron plates to get dense iron plates compressed. And you need four of the dense compressed <laughs> to get the uh, tool forge. So it is a, it's more of a time, very time consuming project to get your tool forge but it is very very nice to get them alright let's throw those in there and let's put more cells in there there we go um, I didn't put the coal in there whoops alright there we go that's going and also it's going to take quite a bit of time because of power and all that type of stuff so in the meantime now that I have the machines finally going and I'm going to work towards getting the improved thing what I want to work on is first off emptying my inventory <laughs> and also working on these go away weeds I don't want you but what I want to get going on and it's been quite some time I want to start on making some magic stuff so what we need to do through the magic tree is now that we already have all this done Basically, the first off is to getting to mana steel. Now, what you're going to want to do is go into some Thomcraft. So, the basics of the beginning game of Thomcraft remain largely unchanged. So, at this point, you should gather all of your aspects and unlock at least the basic tiers of Thomcraft research. To progress down the magic tree, you will need a few things to start. Starting with the Thalmcraft table, at the first glance, it may seem difficult to get the great wood needed for your tables. However, that is why we started with Batania Mana, great wood planks. You take the great wood logs and you put them into the mana pool here and it makes two planks. Now you'd be able to make a table. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is... We're going to want to grab our great wood logs that we got. I thought I had more than that. I thought I had a lot more than that. Okay, well, we have a uh, great wood tree right there. Well, at least in that direction. All right, so let us, hello lag, and let's throw as many as we can. What is it? Did you steal? You you ate one of my planks. <laughs> How dare you? Alright, so now what we're going to want to do is we are going to grab... We're going to need two of these. Yeah, we're going to need a bit more. Why did you have to steal my thing? How dare you? Alright, let's sleep. And then let's go chop down the tree. All right, there we go. Also, uh, since we have the electric furnace and I do have quite, I, I'll probably go get more wood as we're going and stuff. But I think about in between this episode and in between next episode and well, the next episodes and stuff, I will start. First, I need to find a location that I is desirable and that I want. And I'm going to start building the actual house that we will be staying at 
and so if you guys have any suggestions on like what type of style you want or just things in general please let me know because I will be I'll probably be live streaming it too within the next like week or so because hey why not so if you guys want to come join me on twitch the my channel link thingy is in the description and pretty sure it's in the description and also it's on the channel page on the links so if you guys want to go check that out go uh, follow me up on that and we'll be able to hang out some more I really need to get a lumber axe that would be nice I also need to get like Steve's carts going but that's not gonna happen until quite later cuz I had to get the tool forge at least to be on <laughs> uh, it's gonna be fun and I think, yep, that should be enough great wood for the moment. Let's also grab some berries. All right. That reminds me. I need to catch up on the flash. <laughs> oh, TV shows. All right. Um, also, let's harvest you. Whoa. Hello, lag. One thing I do want to get is a new computer, too. Oh, at least graphics card. I need to work on getting that. I need money. <laughs> Uh, you gotta love it. Alright, let's throw you in there and let us grab. Let's do three more of these. You stealing my. Go away! <laughs> Alright, let's make our crafting stuff. Alright, so it's. No, that's not what I wanted. I need three of these. Perfect. Alright. There we go. Alright, so we're going to want to throw this shenanigans in there and there. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So we're going to want to grab some wood. Some iron. <laughs> More iron. Ooh, hello. Let's not chuck that all over. I have glitchy hands. Alright, um. Let's replant you, throw you in there, and let's grab some more iron, throw some of it into the blast furnace, that way we can constantly start getting some refined iron, which we need more of you, and also compress more of that, and throw whatever into there. Alright, um, we're going to need two... Yeah, we're just going to need two of these. You want to get the ingots, the nuggets, not ingots, and make two iron caps. And what this is going to do is, it the if you didn't know, because Thumbcraft's changed quite a bit from the uh, earlier things. That's like 1.6 and all that episode. So if you don't know how to make one, this is how you do it. Stick two caps, any type of caps. You can make it from gold, thalmium, whatever. Uh, as you go into Thumbcraft Research, you'll be able to make higher up caps that will retain better things. So, there we go. We have the very beginning Thumbcraft wand, which is capacity of 25 for each aspect you can get. And if you want to see your measurement, you have it on the top left of your screen. Uh, the circle part is for whatever focus you have inside the wand, which there's many focuses. There's... Uh, a uh, portable hole, quidn exchange. Ooh, hey, there we go. Uh, yeah, there's there's multiple things that you can get. All right, we're done with you. And we're done with you, finally. All right, so we're going to want to put you in there. Let's grab you and start having you go. I think I can actually juice this. Yeah, I can. Haha. Ha 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 ha. Alright, um let's see. I got I I lost track of what I was doing. Also, I lost track of my juicer. There we go. Eh, don't chuck it on the ground, you stupider. <laughs> Alright, um let's grab one of you and we're going to which side do we want to put this on? I guess right here. I guess. <laughs> um, let's put you there and you there. We're going to want to take the wand and also the uh, two 
tube looking things off the circle is what the um, aspects that you get from uh, the nodes which I'll show you in a later time and they fill up and all that type of stuff basically what you want to do is you take the wand and you right click with the single table and this will make you the arcane work table which uses to craft for thumbcraft now with this the magical thing for the beginning is it takes the whole point of the arcane work table is that you craft things and with the crafting you use the wand to take magical aspects and infuse it into like simple infusing it into objects uh, this will be easier explained as I start doing things on camera with Thumbcraft, but that's best way I can explain it at the moment. Also, it's not limited to just Thumbcraft things. You can do other. You can actually do crafting with this. So if you wanted to, <laughs> so there you go. And you can store your wand in here, and it looks kind of cool. All right. So the next thing we're gonna want to do is we're going to want to make some. Let's first off get Thumbcraft up on NEI and let us get going on this. We're going to want to make the scribing tools. How we do this is we're going to want some black dye or ink, which we have one. And this uh, the ink sack is also made to refill it. And you'll see why in a moment or a little bit. Alright, we need a feather. My nose is itching. Thank you very much. Alright, that and the glass vial. It usually is a glass bottle, but glass vial makes more sense. Alright, so we're going to want to make this. We're going to want clay and three glass, which in this mod pack, well at least the expert mode, you're going to have to use ma <laughs> to tell you the truth, the whole the whole mod pack, like the whole mod pack, the expert mode, utilizes every mod it has and interworks. It interworks the tech mods and interworks the magic mods. And then, from what I heard, it in the higher tiers of things, it works the tech and the magic together. So it's pretty good. I don't know yet because I haven't gotten that far, but looks cool. Alright, so glass file, and we take this and we make the scribing tool. Now, what we can do with this is you right click facing whichever way you want, table, and it makes the research table. Now, this is used for multiple things. Basically, one thing we should do though is grab our books. Oh, yeah, it's in my bookcase that I needed to do. And as it says, not 100% accurate. That is because this mod pack has changed quite a few things, so, but that's all right. All right, so what we're going to want to do is grab some reeds here and make some paper. And now what we're going to want to do is also go in here and take the scrapping tools. Taking out won't disable. The only way you can disable the research table is by breaking it, and it'll go back into two tables. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open up the Thumbonomicon very big tongue twister there and you're going to want to do some things in here at the very beginning you need to go into the basic information and as you as you can see there's a lot of little things here you can click on it and you can read you can hit escape to come back to the main parts la 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 also the knowledge fragments which i have a few of them and this is what you use them for, literally all you use them for, is to do this and it makes a research note. And basically what you can do is just right click and it will show you what it needs. Most of these I'm pretty sure is basically all they are for is to make the golems accessories. That's, I think that's really all it's for. But anyways, what you want to do, making sure you have the scribing tools and the paper is you're going to click on one of these blinking things. Basically what this is going to do is you click it and it will use the paper and ink in your inventory to make a research note. Notes. And basically what the research notes is it's kind of I don't know it's kind of like university where you uh, have to write a thesis and all that type of stuff. <laughs> Best way I can explain it. You go into the work table you put your scribing tool in here 
and you put your research notes in here and it brings this little thing up now there are question marks because I haven't done anything with Thomcraft yet this is the only thing you've seen so what we're gonna have to do is we don't know what these aspects are so we ha what we have to do is we need to make our little thermometer. Now what the thermometer does is it sh it allows us to see the magical things of Thomcraft as we know it and also scans things and it lets us view into the world of it. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to need another mana glass. We're going to need two of you and let's use the ones that we have the most of. Uh, let's go make our glass here. I probably haven't done a very good job explaining. I'm sorry. If you need to go look up a wiki, it'll probably make it more sense. Since I'm just trying to go through this very fast. All right. <laughs> That's very clear. I can't really see it. All right. So we have the thermometer. Now what we need to do is literally what, what you have to do is run around and scan things. That's literally what this whole thing is is scanning and what also what you can do is there there is tiers to the uh, scanning part you have to build up as it goes which it can get quite annoying sometimes so what I usually do and what I am going to do I don't want to spend hours upon hours trying to actually do this so what I am going to do is I'm going to look up a cheat sheet to scan all the things <laughs> Um, it's not because I don't know what I'm doing. It's because I don't want to take forever to actually do this. And this mod pack is big enough as it is. And I don't have the all the time in the world. But anyways, I'm going to do quite a few scannings and going around finding some things. And yeah. So this segment has been going quite a long time. So I'm going to pause and go scan more things. I was hoping to find a aura node but it doesn't look like that's going to happen at the moment. Let's actually run over this hill and see if I can find one before I head off for a little bit. Maybe, hopefully. Hopefully we find one. If not, that's okay, whatever. Uh, oh hello. Yeah. As you can see, there's a lot of things you can't do at the moment. Also, one little cool thing. If you can't find any ore, in, well, never mind. There's no point in me saying that because I didn't bring my wand with me. <laughs> um, and sometimes you can see ore nodes by the light given off. This might not be one because it's just, I think it's just lava. Yeah. But usually you can, if you're looking through these, you can usually see them because they are really, really big, just glowy orb <laughs> going around the place. So usually you can find them. I don't think I can find one at the moment. But anyways, I'll check back with you guys in a little bit whenever I get done scanning some things. See you in a second. Okay, so now that you have all, well, most of the things that you need researched and, well, you know, seen and stuff, now it's time to at least throw it on here and get the thing where you can unlock the research. All right, so basically what you need to do is you need to connect the dots of the three points. This had three points and I've connected them and you can see the line in between. So basically what you have to do is you literally click and drag it onto the space you want to get it all linked up and there we go. We have our first research done. You right click on it with it to get it unlocked and there we go. This one, now, what this is, is you become more efficient at performing research. Whenever you remove an aspect that you placed in the hex, there will be a 25% chance you regain it. So yes, sometimes you do make mistakes, and so you have to uh, click it off, and that's a way to be able to maybe get it back. So, let's also grab that, and also this. This is going to be good for whenever we uh, start filling up our nodes all right so um yeah you need to put that back in let's not do this one at the moment we want to do this one yeah so basically what you have to do is you figure out what um connects these guys and yeah 
basically this goes from Perdido and Vacuous and this one goes from Spiritus to um, whatever it's called Igneous <laughs> Um, so that's Spiritus, and this is Perdido, Vacuous, that's that. Yeah, it does take quite some time. That's the reason why I don't want to do it off cam uh, on camera. There it is. Okay, I was having issues finding that. Whoops. Alright, so that's... So it looks like it's going to be connected by fire. Whoops. Yeah, see, you can make mistakes easily. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Whoops. All right. So that on there, and then you're going to be connected by that. I think I'll do it with the vacuous, make it easier, and that connects through that. Why are you? Oh wait. Whoops. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's do. How much do I have? Quite a bit of ordo, but I, yeah. Let's do it by fire. Trial by fire. And that connects to that. There we go. And you have to do that continually all the way through. But anyways, um, I don't know how long this has been. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I do want to check really quickly though. On how far we can go with this. Before we need. We should go to Witchery. Uh, I guess we should, pro we should go until we can hit the Great Wood Wand. So that's pretty good. And we also will need these. So yeah. So it looks like we're going to need to go all the way until we can get the alchemical furnace because we'll need that whenever we do the witchery which I should I need to mutate start mutating the some point in time but yeah you're gonna need botania and thomcraft to start with witchery but anyway guys I will continue researching more throughout stuff because yeah it's, it is very boring and you guys probably won't want to watch it so I'll do that off camera and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, have a great Thanksgiving day. Go stuff yourself, fool. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you want more. Comment down below tips, tricks, and other types of things that can help other people out. And also, um, subscribe for more content. We're going to have quite a bit more in the future to do and awesome things going to be coming up. Also, we are about to hit 200. Thank you guys very much for that. And let's continue to grow and let's have some fun. Hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.